Making decisions about assistive technology can be a daunting task for a student's educational team. But if you know the right questions to ask and gather the right information, the process can be easy. We use the SET framework to guide us through this process. SET stands for Student, Environment, Tasks, and then Tools. The first thing that we look at when making decisions about assistive technology is the student. We ask ourselves, what's the student's strength? What areas is the student not making effective progress or not meeting goals or objectives? What does the student like to do? What are their interests? What are their favorite classes? And what are their least favorite classes? We also consider the environment. When we think about the environment, we ask questions about the structural features of the classroom, like how is it organized? How loud is it? Are there a lot of visual supports being used? We think about the materials, like what materials are being used in the class. We also think about things like the teaching style. Is there a lot of lecture? Is it more whole group instruction? Or is there a lot of small group? Next, we look at the tasks. We ask, what specific thing do we want the student to be able to do that they are not currently able to do? Perhaps it's a reading task. Perhaps it's a math task. Perhaps it's about using school tools. We also want to know what IEP goals or objectives is this connected to? After we've considered the student, the environment, and the tasks, the last step in the process is to think about tools. We might look at tools that students are already using in the environment. We might look at a variety of low-tech tools. Mid-tech tools. Or high-tech tools. To support the student. With this step we usually conduct a trial after selecting a tool and we collect data to measure its effectiveness. The SET framework helps focus teams on the individual student, their environment, and the tasks that they need to complete prior to focusing on specific tools. It is an ongoing process and may be revisited several times as the needs of the student, their environment, the tasks, and or the tools change. To learn more about the SET framework, visit Joy Zabala's website at www.joyzabala.com.